Today's webinar, we have an interesting topic, and it is on cough. I would say that uh, cough is the beginning of the homeopath journey because when you are beginning your practice, there are patients all around you, and uh, there are some patients who see the clinic name, who search online, or put a query online, or call you up, and then they will tell you that uh, do you uh, cure uh, joint pain? Do you cure uh, asthma? Do you cure whatever be the name of the disease? And then you say yes. Now you are a new practitioner. They will not rely on you. So it is tough for them to, uh, you know, rely on you to put their trust in you unless you are having good results in your locality. So they'll bring someone in their. Uh, relatives or their children or their parents whatever to you and they will tell you tell you that uh, doctor uh, this uh, person is having cough so first you cure this then we uh, in one of our uh, also other relative who has this problem that problem so it's like you have a beginning somewhere it's like a challenge for you that you need to cure this or help this patient with coriza cough or whatever so that's how a uh, homeopath journey begins. Poriza, cough, fever, all these. And acute, especially acute, are one of the important milestones a uh, homeopath should achieve so that their trust in the society is established well. And that's why we have this interesting webinar. So let's go on further. I was a student and uh, I, in my fourth year of my graduation, I was going to one of the teachers, Dr. Rahalkar in Nashik, and I used to diligently at his OPD every day. He used to see acute, subacute process, few chronics also. But his grasp over the LN keynote, Boric, Martina Medica, and Tentrepetri was unparalleled. So uh, daily these visits used to happen, daily the learnings used to happen. And slowly as he developed the trust, he used to give also some of the patients for a case taking to me, which was kind of good gesture for me to learn. So one day one patient came and the waiting room and the inner cabin was not so far. We could also sometimes hear a few things which are happening in the waiting room if they are too loud. So there was a patient who coughed slightly. <coughs> there were few other follow who were coming up to us. Uh, Dr. Rahalkar was seeing them and then again after a few minutes the patient coughs. So my teacher told me that uh, go out and see the remedy of the patient. I have uh, prepared it. I have written in my uh, sheet which I shared with my pharmacist. But you go and see what are they. So I went out. I asked this old guy that uh, what are what is your problem. He told me that uh, since it is uh, quite sunny out. I'm going out every day and uh, I have this cough. I don't know when it is more, when it is less. So it was tough for me. And then again, in the middle of the case checking, he coughed. So I went back to my teacher and I told him, sir, it looks like he ex got exposed to sun. He must have had some cold drink or he must have, sweat he must have sweated out. And that must be something. I mean, he'll have to give bell belladonna or Vanya or Econite. It's just a few hours of cough, I didn't think that there is anything else. I told, uh, what more do you think? Anything else have you thought? I told no sir, nothing apart from the cough in the waiting room, which is not found in our repertory in our Materia Medica. And then uh, he told me, okay, so open your Kent repertory. And uh, he showed me an interesting rubric. I'll take you to the Kent repertory. And he showed me this rubric, paroxysmal cough. First, the strongest, following once weaker and weaker. And then again the patient cough. The first cough was so loud that he could hear it. And then the other two or the other couple of few more were little softer than the previous one. And that's where he hit the bullseye. So my friends, this is what the coughs are all, all about. You need to understand, you need to observe, and you need to be a very, very sharp observer about this patient. So I 
got my learning and I thought this is going to be an interesting journey because you have the repertory, you have the Materia Medica, you have so many books and so much literature to go into and every day is a new learning. And slowly the learning. Then, as the practice progressed, in the last few years, I have been seeing that there are so many pathological seminars, so many cancer cases seminars, so many seminars with specific methods. You come to our seminar, learn this method. You come to this seminar and you learn this method. You have classical case checking seminars, rare remedies. There is a seminar going on. Only rare remedies are spoken. There are CMEs. The uh, doctors meet and they discuss few remedies, few cases and they go on. But have you ever, ever have attended a top Horiza fever seminar or a webinar? This is what is interesting about these specific topics and these are the, this is why we initiated the acute webinars. I would say why acute? Now, it gives you quick results. It gives you results within a few hours or a couple of days, less than two days or less than three days or less than a week, depending upon the condition. It gives you the confidence and you make your sharp observer. So when you are seeing patients after patients after patients with acute cases with different acute conditions, you become more sharper and then your chronic cases become more subtle in your case taking. You become more fine, more refined. And I would say that this is the bread and butter of every home. Like Dr. Pratik said that if you can cure as a cough, which Dr. Sarkar shared with us, then you can cure cancers also. You need to be sharp observer. Then you will move to the next ladder of your life. So let's move on. Now this is a bit of physiology. But why I put a few slides of physiology for your understanding was to was to make you understand about how different things related to physiology and uh, pathological conditions will come of use in our pack. Cough is a physiological mechanism to protect the respiratory tract from infection or invasion of foreign body. We all know this. But we need to explain this to our patients as well. And like Dr. Gaurang, Dr. Pratik have been telling today and yesterday, Dr. Gaurang also shared, we need to be informing the patient about what the disease is, what the remedy is, and how will it be curing. They will develop the trust, the confidence. Now, you know very well how things happen, how your upper respiratory tract is infected. There is nasal passages, there is pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli. So every aspect, every location which you see on the screen will have a different remedy or maybe a collective remedy as well, depending upon the symptom. Just a bit about what happens in the body, in the upper respiratory tract, laryngitis. It, it is like a cough with hoarseness of voice. We'll share a couple of remedies on that. Take your bronchitis. Now it is an unproductive cough with pain, sputum, and sometimes the first, the, 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 the cough, the uh, mucus becomes profuse and purulent. And a pneumonia-like state, which is short and painful and less productive. And then the discharge changes to resting. We all know the remedy, but uh, we'll cover a few of them today. And then you have the duration of the cough, which is very important, and the time of the cough. Now the duration of the cough, the Cough can be chronic irregular cough. So it can be a bronchiectasis. It can be a simple chronic bronchitis which is seasonal. People have it in you know summer they have the allergy, in some winters they have allergies. some person this person. There are certain critical conditions also, which is like uh, tuberculosis or cystic conditions, but also rarely found. Time of cough. This is important for a diagnostic point of view and for our point of for our modality point of view as well. Now this is a morning cough, which is more in the morning, it uh, is more uh, like a chronic sinusitis or nasal sinusitis. And when the patient lies down, that time the cough is more, it's more of bronchiectasis. Your bronchioles have slowed down, it's a stasis, it's a slow down. And then you have the asthmatic patients, we all know the characteristics, so I will not more uh, and elaborate more on it. And then we have the cough with dyspnea or orthopnea, which is more in critical cases of LVF, left ventricular failure, hypertension, aortic valvular disease. Now, everything of this cannot be covered in one small webinar. This requires a series of webinars. But we'll try to cover the homeopathic aspect of different cough presentations we see in our practice. So, as I shared, we have 
the various remedies will will no work pelvis. at various levels. We'll see that in our talk. No pelvis. Uh, yeah. Oh, audio little. There are few participants who are. Uh, yeah. Just so if we can see uh, something about that. Okay. I, I'll try to improve. Yeah. So I'll try to improve my audio. The earphone is it? Do you feel it will help? Pardon? Do you feel it will help if we remove the earphone directly or with the earphone? Uh, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. That will work. But I'll put it in my pocket somehow. It will work. I I'm sure about no, it. Yes, yes, yes. It is little yeah. bit clearer. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. So let's go further. Now, from the homeopathic point of view, I don't think so. Patients will come and directly tell you the total picture of what you read in the book. Doctor, I have fine board like cough which pains my chest. Or doctor, as soon as I lie down, my head touches pillow, I get this cough. Or doctor, I have minute gun like. I don't think so. It's possible for us to get the symptom picture which is exactly seen in the. It's exactly written and exactly told by the verbatim. It's not ever not verbatim always in our that what happens when you see a patient as in your in your clinic. You need to investigate. You need to ask. Maybe the patient will say that when I sleep at night, my cough begins. It's a very generalized term. You will need to specify whether you go on. Sleep at that moment, whether you sleep just before that it happens, or how it how it happens when you lie down, you close your eyes, and then in the middle of the night, do you wake up? That's how it will. Then you will be able to correlate it in your repository, in your materia medica. But directly, if the patient may not come and tell you that my head touches the pillow and I get this, not possible unless it's a homeopathic student. I'll share a few cases with you which are interesting. And which will help you understand how we need to understand the process of cough. So, patient comes to me, pain in the throat since the past two days. Now, this pain is mostly in the morning. As soon as he wakes, he tells that few days ago he had coriza. Now, his nose is completely fine, but there is slight pain in the throat, and then there is this infrequent cough, which does not have any modality, but he feels, you know, disturbed by it. So, what do you think can be the rubric for this? Cough after coriza, coriza descending, very nice, and pain in the throat in the morning, in the morning waking on, nice, good. Yes. So, let's go. Good suggestion. So, this is one of the important rubrics which you need to understand. Coriza extending to throat. The so coriza which started in a particular, the in the part, the cold which started in a particular part, it started from the first entry point of the nasal tract. And then it went to the throat, which is which the now the horizon of the nasal area must be free, must be totally free of any any problem, but starts in the throat now. And when we combine the two symptoms, pain, morning waking on, which is what most of the attendees answer, and the other one is horizon no, extending to throat, you will have the remedy. That case now this is from the latest report. It can be uh, I think could be 2018 or 19. But if I would like to tell you something interesting about this particular rubric, that he has pain aggravated in the morning when he wakes on, I still rely on the classical Kent because there is something interesting mentioned: pain, sore throat, morning waking on, and there are four remedies: lachesis, astigmatum, calibicomicum, and blue stops. Now this has helped me in innumerable cases. So if you see the previous slide. There are around 66 remedies in the current repository, which is good, but there is lot to be done, lot to be seen about why this remedy is present and how it is present and whether it correlates with the other symptoms. But the morning modalities are so profound in the cases and Pali by Kumaran that you can give it unparalleled in most of the cases that they will help. So that's about this particular case. Now more about such. What happens when a patient? Comes in your clinic. The patient enters your clinic and he may wait in the wait room, or when he is time for consultation has come, he enters. Now, whether you have an air conditioning or a normal fan, you need to observe what happens with the patient. If the patient starts coughing immediately, you know the modality is there itself for you. 
you may definitely ask for it but the modality is there with you air gravels or draft of air gravels many of the times patient enter the clinic but they have no cough but when they are wait in the waiting room or outside the waiting room they have been coughing profusely and then the patient tells you that doctor i was coughing just 5 minutes ago too much but now i am completely fine i mean this happens when i go out and coughing profusely but i am when i am in i am totally better. so you you can go through the rubrics air open ameliorates or air open aggravates depending upon the condition room warm cold to warm aggravates and warm to cold aggravates vice versa so these are the presentations i'm just sharing with you what happens patient comes and uh, you are taking the case most of the cough cases will not exhibit their actual symptoms at that moment of your case you may need to for example there comes a cough case and he's waiting he's not having any problem he's telling that he is coughing a lot of times but he doesn't know how to explain no so you tell him that lie down i may need to investigate you and when they lie down you see that the patient starts coughing immediately so you have the particular rubric lying down aggravates now many of the cases will tell you that i have a particular kind of itching in my throat this is more profoundly seen in remedies like rumex which dr pratik also shared and remedies like hyoscyamus and conaim now i'll share something interesting about conaim and hyoscyamus these are very less described remedies but they are very important conaim you will see conaim where there is particular patient feels aggravated as soon as a particular part of the body is exposed there is a small spot he tell you that this particular small spot is irritating me and causing the cough and you very well know the particular position of conaim which aggravates the slightest change of position aggravates conaim as a whole so we know that this is the case in cough also and he has to sit to feel better i had one case where he he was sitting in front of me and there was no cough but as soon as he was told to lie down on the examination bed he started coughing and he had to sit i had to check him while sitting and there was another case where he had to sit but he had to bend forward and this is interesting for hyoscyamus both will have the itching both will have the irritation in the throat but one will feel better by bending forward but other will just sit as it is and in hyoscyamus it will be more of a convulsion and spasm of cough and it, it will especially be seen in the midnight it's also a nervous cough in hyoscyamus which is like a hysterical cough when people are around that time the cough increases but when he is alone is fine so these two also are very under prescribed remedies but if you can look over it and think over how it can help your patient it will be remarkable so i shared about you with you about the patient entering the room the itching irritation or in the throat there are many remedies in this you can have remedies like rumex you can have remedies like rustox kali bicomica each will have its own peculiarity there is lot of literature on cough and a small webinar is not enough but whatever are the cases presentation seen we will share with you to understand about how this cough can be helped now this is a cough in a young boy he had cough since the past a week or 10 days and there was no exact modality this will happen in most of the cases in some cases you will find peculiar modality which is okay i am not here to share with you something which is common i am here to share with you which is uncommon which is peculiar this particular patient has uh, it's he is a boy so i am having this difficulty with the mic but it's okay we can manage if we can manage cough we can manage the mic as well so this boy has cough since few days it, it, it happens for a short while he, he has a few bouts of cough and then he is fine for few hours now when i tell him to lie down and he takes a deep breath <coughs> this is what you need to do in your clinic examine the patient you check whether the patient is having the cough while inspiring while expiring or while both the process is going on when i ask him for few physical exam because it's been there since the past few days he told me that he has been the, the mother told me that he has been eating less the mother will always complain of course but comparatively less so i asked the uh, meals which he takes the thirst was good and the other physical exam was quite good 
is sleep was also good so what can be the rubric a particular rubric for the cough can you people share examine the patient the cough cannot be brought out which is also very important to share for your for finding the rubric and when he coughs when he when he breathes so let me check if i have put something for me to see yeah so dr bharat toy our colleague has shared that the deep inspiration is mine the pick to expectorate of inspire gravity yes yeah. and let's see now the case also for you all let me go over a interesting rubric that i could in the case one is exhausting he was so tired because of the cough that he couldn't that was one of the important things other thing was cough was short which is what i also described and the other thing which most of you were bang on target was that the cough was dry inspiration on deep now the remedies you can see the remedies there are many remedies coming up chromium perum pos plumbum squilla digitalis natrum what do you think should be the remedy and why digitalis okay plumbum this is out of the box for me consider appetite okay yes definitely we have to consider appetite lack of appetite but when we take lack of appetite it will have innumerable remedies so what we can do in such a case is we can go and refer the particular materia medica and it will have the combination of symptoms yes so we have bromium by dr shital yes and squila yes erampos yes epia okay so we can have many suggestions and everyone may be correct from their view point but when we see the particular case and one answer i have got from dr rekha which is very true and it is natrum arcs why natrum arcs because this is the bronchitis of children over particular age you can see okay 7 years that doesn't matter even if it is 7 if it is 6 if it is 5 or if it is 10 but the most important thing is facilitate the termination of cold and conserve the strength and appetite so this is very important it will conserve the strength and appetite and it will it will also improve the physical generals so it will improve the physical generals as well as the respiratory tract problems and this child improved very much on natrum arcs so that is where we need to see if we don't get a few things in repertory or if there are too many things mentioned about a particular too many remedies i would say mentioned in the repertory then we can go over the particular materia medica which we know must be having such a combination this was shared by dr sunirmal sarkar our teacher and since then in the last 5 7 years i have cured so many of the patients with natrum arc it's incredible so that's what we need to do in our practice now this is a cough in a boy very studious and this was seen last year very obedient he doesn't eat out doesn't drink and he is constantly focused in his studies and he has a cough now this is a single remedy rubric i am sure most of you will reply in the remedies cough students of but let's also see another interesting case this is an old man i had gone to see him near my clinic he is nearby but he couldn't come to my clinic so i had to visit him he told me that there is a particular cough i have and when i lie down it increases more everyone in my home is disturbed so i go and sleep on the sofa the couch and that is where i get i gave him some remedy i think i must have given him dry cough i don't remember because it's been few years but i gave him many remedies two three remedies and then i had to investigate why he feels better on the sofa what is the reason and then when i again visited his home after my second or third remedy he told him show me how do you lie down on the sofa and you feel better and then he told me that i i lie down like this on one side and that's how i get sleep so at the midnight he starts coughing he sleeps in his bedroom he starts coughing and then he comes and sleeps outside and he lies on one side and he feels better and i know the remedy you must have studied in dr pratik's lecture so i will not ask for answer but this is very important you can see the rubric cough persistent midnight lying on back aggravate but lying on side ameliorates not from and you can see cough midnight lying back on aggravates which is not from mica but lying on side ameliorates is not so very interesting so 
So this is how you need to be sure and precise. A few failures can lead you to success, and that's what we are here to aid you all, to help you all with our experiences, with from all our teachers, share with you all our idea. Now this is the particular case which I had shared with you all. In the email Dr. Pratik had emailed everyone. So this is a particular case of this old man who is an orphanage, and uh, I received lot of answers. I think it must be close to hundred or one fifty emails, and it's very interesting. Many brains have been churned to find out particular case. Old man is in the orphanage. I had given him innumerable remedies to. all those that you have mentioned but of course one was the curative also but how i came to it was very interesting i mean this is what i am here for particular old guy is in an ashram in a orphanage okay so the food the appetite everything is fine but this particular cough he has he feels that the cough has come till here but he cannot bring out he calls me one day again i go i had to wake him now he is no more but of course but uh, when he was alive a couple of years back we saw him for around 8 to 10 years and after that because of old age and some other conditions he passed away but this case got the belief in the entire orphanage and all the people in the orphanage are so i used to go to see him every day and i used to see the way he spoke and one day he told me that doctor you sit here for one year one one hour or two hours and you see how the cop i told okay Let's have tea together. Let's have snack together, or whatever is possible for those one two hours, so that I'm not. And then suddenly he starts coughing. <coughs> and he tells the doctor, "See, I, I can feel that the cough has gone over here, but just I can't bring out over here." And then it he feels that oh, it's gone now. Nothing will happen till the next bout of cough. I don't think so. I'll be able to bring it back. And then the same cycle continues every day. After a few hours, he'll start coughing. He'll come to the cough. He'll come till here, and he'll not be able to bring it up. What do you think? Many people have replied to me, and I think uh, I'll share the person's name who is also who has told the right answer. Uh, someone in the email is there. I'll also see the questions which you people have shared. Some have shared the vinegar is the remedy. Was a good choice. Ammonia cum. Most of you have told ammonia cum, which is also a good choice. Ponaim because he is old person is a good choice. But over here, what was important was the way I read the rubric. One of you, uh, I, I would like to tell the name of the person. Doctor Kasturi has told cough old people, expectation difficult aged people, expectation sleep stack again. It is a good choice, of course. But this particular rubric, yeah. So it is. Bruno, someone named Bruno, of course, yes, and also another person, uh, Kingel Singhvi. So the rubric I'll share with you: deep enough sensation as though he could not cough to start the meals. So this is I I had given him, I think all the remedies in my talk. Uh, I must have given him right from Econoid, Bryonia. I must have given him. I think I gave him Sinaig also. I have not checked it, but. the moment i gave him causticum now this has many remedies if you see this rubric it has arsenic it has belladonna it has causticum it has rosemary it has lactic medorinum miserium rumex but the reason i gave him causticum was number 1 he used to feel that there is cough it used to slip back this is the single paralysis there was no itching irritation like what we see in rosera lactic or rumex arsenic belladonna were out of question because there were no Strong modalities to pinpoint to that remedy, and uh, I perhaps I had given him belladonna long back due to some other considerations. But when I gave him this particular remedy, first of all, he was remarkably better. And the day I reached this rubric was because I had to see him do the cough, and I had to understand what is happening with his cough, how it happens. He feels that there is cough, there is cough somewhere within his. Break here. Is in his tract of breathing, and he cannot cough enough. He cannot bring that energy. So there is local single paralysis that he cannot bring the cough out to start the mucus. That is where I gave him oxygen, and he was totally fine. I have been sharing his case all across wherever I go. 
many other people would have been right if i would have given ammonium ammonia term or sinega i think i had given sinega if yes, for that i remember many remedies would have helped him, but the moment i gave him costicum it was his cure he didn't have cough for the rest of his life for the couple of years that he lived moving on i am here to give you a short pointers on the cough so what can be the short pointers when seeing the respiratory tract you visualize it what remedy will add to where that's where everything will open up if you find when you are examining the patient you are receiving the patient is that the feet and the the irritation the the things which are disturbing him are situated in the trachea in the lower part of upper part of the respiratory tract in the lower part of the trachea you have the remedies aconite elium sepa hospita sera sina sina is a remedy which you always think for children but if you think of it in coughs and especially the early morning cough similar to the case i shared with you but not having any throat pain because sina is mostly having a nervous kind of nature it causes on gagging this gagging is important and if it is especially more in the morning you have sina which will cure the then you see in the respiratory tract i have mentioned humex kali bicomicum sanguinea so you very well know humex as a remedy which will have irritation in the entire air passages the patient may also cover up his face is to avoid the draft of air from the fan or the air conditioning and it will help you and kali bicomicum now in boric when you go and read kali bicomicum has been mentioned as having catarrhal laryngitis so there are people who always have this thick voice which seem to have cough this is kind of important for the prescription of paracetamol i have cured many cases and also along with that if you see there is this particular pain in the throat so so which i shared with you all especially in the morning waking on you see over here this will clear the entire case so kali bicomicum the cough case. sanguinary i will have eject patient as you all know now bryonia i need not go over it there is lot of literature lot of people telling you about it the spaces the pleural spaces are mostly affected with sinus all the examples dryness of air passages also spawn the acoustic shed couple of cases which were quite good and when you examine the patient auscultate using a stethoscope you will see that there is there is some finding in the upper lobe arsenic and tensic calcarea will help or there is some middle zone problems which will help will be helped by calcarea or there is lower right zone which is alicarb and like when mark the special seat of action left zone calcarea pause if you read boric let me go over boric to help you so you see pain through lower left lung this has been mentioned for calcarea pause that's the beauty of these small things which we learn from different authors different teachers and one of the very important and neglected remedy you will go home and start prescribing is shikta shikta is the remedy will facilitate expectoration so this could have been a good choice for that old guy but he got better with cosmetic what i am here to share with you about shikta is something in the many a times patients will come to you and tell that i am having cough i am having poryzon two days back i had headache but now i am completely fine so you see in bore has been mentioned catarrhal headache before the discharge of pain two days back i had headache but now i am having coriza cough so don't give me medicine for the headache give me medicine to help my cough and cold this is the smallest things which is important so sticta will help you in this manner to go over uh, the materia medica also from the bore trachitis especially case expectoration loose cough in the morning and the other symptoms of course hacking cough during night worse people ask you what is the difference between hacking cough then the irritation then the ear uh, dry cough they are almost similar but fine differentiation is needed when you hear the patient hack is like a chopping you cut it then you hack a tree now you'll have a patient which will tell you that i'm having cough since many days it's been two months and then i'm having this cough of course you need to get the patient investigated for some clinical condition but if everything seems fine then the level the functional level is 
the lower swing hepia will read in boric looking soft that bad one there is hypostatic pleurisy so the cough has kind of not fully settled down it is dragging on since many days there may be some associated symptoms or there may be not any and this thing will help you cure whooping cough that drags on for many days 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 whooping cough that drags on yes see now i already shared that it has a particular kind of gagging cough in the morning one of the important things which you shouldn't forget is that cough appears as a prodrome if you see the kent repertory you will see it in the till before chapter it is eupatorium perfilatum goose cough rheumatic sambucus tuber and in the latest repertory you will see it as prodrome so there have been many changes in the latest repertory in the older repertory but you need to know where things are located so many a times you will have a patient in your clinic who will tell you that i am having fever since today since yesterday but i had a small bout of cough a couple of days ago but i am now totally fine so that's where you need to catch this and one of the important remedies for this is good cough dunham mentions that in most of his cases of fever if he finds out this particular cough as a program symptom he have a cure with it. so maybe you need to when you go back to your clinic when you see your patients your fever patients have this interesting symptom traced out finally of course for fever you will have a, a different day from one of these days for the acute webinar try to cover different presentations of fever different program different symptoms during fever what happens after the fever episode is gone what are the symptoms how you need to collaborate and one of the other interesting thing which we find in the cough patients will tell you that most of when i go i think i have cough now whether this particular patient has immediate cough when he lies down or after a few minutes no one may know the exact time if the patient says that yes after as soon as i lie down and as soon as i am going in my sleep and i suddenly start coughing so one of the important remedies this share with you we were the earlier response of early time calculus and calculus will help you with most of the cases this you will see this rubric in the first sleep so the the latest complete report you will see it in the rubric cough sleep for sleep and then you have the other uh presentations where lying ameliorate or lying in particular side which we can find out easily in short if i want to tell you that you have to combine the materia medica and the repertory together in your prescription there is a lot to cover in of this and it is not possible that we can cover it in one hour or two hours it can be a series of different webinars or seminars or discussion and also we need to see the particular of videos or hear the different of so that we know what is barking or what is hacking or what is what is an irresistible cough what is coughing cough of coughing aggravates so this may need to be seen rather than someone coming and telling you so this was just in short about uh, what i had to share you can uh, write to me at doctor.alpeshwar@gmail.com i hope it was an interest learning it was a very short learning but i i could bring a few things together for you all to uh, give you an insight about how you can tackle different cough uh, cases what you will need to see what you need to observe and how to finally trace that picture that particular rubric the remedy may not be important but to go to that rubric for me going to that particular rubric deep enough sensation as though he could not cough to start the mucus was really important he could feel the cough somewhere in his tract and he could not bring it out so i would like to quote something interesting from dr nash i i usually bring all these different quotes from different authors so that i can be motivated myself but now i'm getting a chance to motivate others so why not so many lose the good they oft might win by fearing to attempt i would like to share that don't fear anything start your practice start being patient and take up your books and remedies in up in arms and just go there and 
it doubles back. You may fail once, you may fail twice. After every darkness, you'll have a sun. So that's all from me. And uh, I think if Dr. Pratik has to make some announcement, he can share. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dr. Alpesh, for such a wonderful uh, sharing and learning for all the participants. We already started receiving many feedbacks. And-